By the way, yeah, this ain't a setup. It's because this this moron, this moron did had one job and he didn't do his job. Shut up. I watched the first. I watched UFC, man. Did you watch the UFC? Of course, I did. Uh, I listen, I can't lie. It's, it's very bittersweet, man. It is very bittersweet. Okay, don't report. Okay, well done. I don't need the echo. Listen, man. Let's just get to it. I can't lie. Before anything, because I know we're gonna, we know we're not gonna really talk about this fight yeah? Robert Whittaker and Jared Conner fight, fam. That was a good fight, G. Do you watch that fight? Yeah. yeah. yeah what, what, what you like? Who do you? Who do you initially think was? I thought gonna Con- win? I thought Conor was going to win. You know, because he bigger. Like. No, because he was on a mad G. He was he was on a mad yeah, street. He was on a mad row, wasn't it? Do you but know like, what I'm saying? And obviously yeah. Whitaker got got fucking demolished from uh, us. Calm, bro. Got destroyed by Adesanya. Adesanya yeah. so like, is on another level in itself. Yeah, man. And you know what? I was yeah. like, you know what, fam? Like, he's not. You Conor is not really like fresh blood, like fresh yeah. meat. Like, do you know what I'm saying? But he kind of is to the middleweight division. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So I think maybe he's, he's putting, tested enough, isn't it? Yeah. So I'd be like, maybe he's putting mad work. And plus, because yeah. we already saw Whitaker and Izzy, and it wasn't a close fight, I wanted to see Conor versus Izzy more. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, That's what I think anyway, but obviously Whitt- I don't mind seeing Whitaker and Izzy too. I know it would be a good fight. But it's just number two in it. You, exactly, like, that's what I'm saying. It was no so, it was so this... dominant the first fight, but if yeah. Whitaker can go back and like fix up his game, like, try to yeah. take him to the floor and wrestle and that. But Izzy's got good defense, so. There's nothing really for Izzy, Izzy to do in middleweight division. I don't see no one new, you get me? So like, Conan it. Conan and Con- Con- Izzy Con- would be a very good fight. Whitaker like almost demolished Conan it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whitaker's on another level. Like everyone's but forgetting I what I do want to see that fight. His old fights were sick. Yeah, was, I'm not. I'm not. Rub, I'm not yeah. rubbing my now. Like yeah, I'm, I'm not yeah, saying yeah. that. Yeah. But I just like. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, would you would you prefer to see Izzy or Whitaker two or Jared Conner and Izzy? I would want to see him fight Cannonier, but I know Izzy's, Izzy's gonna win. But I'd rather see Whitaker two. No, because, no, no. But you know Izzy's gonna yeah. win. But that would be a scrappy fight, bro. Yeah. Conner Con- Con- versus Conner Con- versus thing would be a sc- Izzy would be a scrappy fight. It would be good for Izzy because Conner is gonna get smoked. Exactly. But it would be a very scrappy because it's not yeah. Conner is gonna have it. He's gonna go. He's gonna swing as well. Just Izzy yeah. needs to go up. That's what I'm saying. Well, and go fight, up. Fight, fight John, John Jones. Jones. But John Jones. Maybe. Yeah, he is. But if Izzy goes up, he doesn't have to fight John Jones. Other people on the on the roster, innit? Th- that's the thing, G. Just because Conor went up here, yeah, I don't feel like everyone needs to move up, bro. But that's just a new wave, you know G- what I'm saying? But you don't need to, but G, Khabib, uh, you know what, I'll say that for later. I don't want to talk yeah. about Khabib just Let's now. leave that for... But not everyone needs to move up, can. bro. But there's not... But, but the only yeah. reason why yeah. I want to see Izzy move up yeah, is to fight John Jones. I don't want to see him fight anyone else at light heavyweight, bro. But who, 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 yeah, who you want to see that. Fight? I understand you want to see him, that John Jones, that's the like, big fight everyone wants to see. But... Him moving up proves proves his legacy even more. You know what I'm saying? Because he's defeated other people in upper weight class. So I just, I know, I just adds to I his think name. it's just all trendy. But DC, Connor done it. DC done it. Like, but in my opinion, yeah. it's a hot take, G. Yeah, I think DC done it better than Connor, man. Because he, because Connor went straight in. Like, yeah. he he got G passes, fam. Yeah, that's what that's what he got. Hella G passes. Like he did a fight through the ranks. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's a cash He's, he came he in. Gets... He came in as a champ. So maybe does do, does he need to fight someone like? So did DC less though, isn't it? But then DC got a loss. I mean, Connor got a loss as well. But no one talks about Connor like he's the goat. Like yeah, he moved up, beat Eddie Alvarez, but then he lost to Khabib. Mm-hmm. Everyone disrespected him, and like, he's been moving sus on Twitter as well. Like as in, when you think about it, yeah. Connor has no title defenses. But at the same time, if you look in hindsight, DC has two losses after he became double champ. Yeah. Like when he knocked out Steve, surely exactly. you could. Like admit that the first fight might have been a fluke, and then because he if he lost, he got knocked out the next fight and he lost the decision. Yeah. Right after that, now for sure that's the thing. That's why I don't think that's what took away from DC being a goat. But if he left it, his legacy would have been cemented. Yeah, 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 exactly. I can't leave it. I was that's saying. the thing. That's why Khabib is trying to like probably learn from his less. Obviously, we don't want to talk about Khabib now. Khabib don't need to move up. He don't because I agree because he obviously first of all, he's, too, he's, too, he's too small anyway to move up. I reckon he's too small to move up. No, but think about it. he'd beat RDA. RDA went up. And RDA is like decent in the not yeah, he's shit yeah. obviously, but he's decent in the rankings. Uh, he shit. can go up. Oh, RDA is shit though, man. Like he's he's been he's, like Islam, he's been he's been mauled by like Usman, Kobe, Edwards. Yeah, but has he been knocked he, out though? Like he's he's just been punching back for the. Fam, the guy's lost it. to you. He got, he got knocked out by like, Jeremy Stevens. Like he's, he's oh yeah, but that was in lightweight. <laughs> yeah, but Jeremy Stevens six, even though even though that guy, yeah, like, that's yeah, him. Yeah, that guy's a clown, fam. That guy's the most losses in UFC. Who did he lose to last? Huh? Last time who did he lose to? Calvin Kayo. Knocked him out with the elbow, innit? Oh, and he's a nobody as well, innit? Calvin Kate is a, he's a killer, though. Like, he's top five. 
featherweight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, getting, I'm getting, getting confused because it's quite a few up and newcomers, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, there's, there's Bear coming up. Edmund Shamazin, he was meant to be a big one, but he got. Yeah, that guy was supposed to be the dark one, so middleweight division, but that guy got cut off early. Yeah. But it's obviously, he got pushed forward too quick. Yeah, man. But going back to Izzy, though, yeah, I, I'd say. Yeah. I think going up is the right thing to do because yeah. he could potentially clear out yeah. two divisions. Even though yeah. it's too many fights, that's the problem. So you can't be in double champ and you're only fighting three times a year, max. Yeah. That means one division has to fight. Or he has to defend in one division Even once a year. Yeah, yeah but, but that's the thing. That's what he should do because there's no one else to fight. Think about it. I'm, sc- I'm screaming, take, take the fight with um obviously obviously he needs to fight Whitaker now. Yeah. And then fight Conan and move up. That's what I'm screaming. But if Whitaker beat Conan, why would you want to fight him? It just doesn't make sense. I, I, I just don't think Conan is legit though, man. The guy has he has a free win streak at middleweight and none of them are world class opponents. Well, yeah, and talk about his other weight classes, lightweight, heavyweight. Because uh, yeah. I don't know he got brushed. He huh? got brushed. He- heavyweight and then he dropped down. Yeah, and he, he, was got getting, yeah he was getting brushed. He was getting brushed. He was getting rubbed out. So. Yeah, see? That's why he kept touching the weights, so. Yeah. He's getting rubbed out. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, let Izzy go up. Set wise, I don't think he has no problems like against Izzy. I mean, I don't, I don't think Izzy has any problems fighting. Kind of, yeah. I think the, pro- the problem with the middle, middleweight division is is that Izzy's in a class of his own and then Whitaker's in a class of his own but he's below. And Izzy. Then anyone else after Because Whitaker just, beats anyone else in the division. That's not Izzy. You're forget, Izzy we're forgetting everyone. about a few people though, like Romero. Come on, Romero's rubbed out. Romero's rubbed out. He still has it, man. He's rubbed out. He's too old. He's too old. He's never going to go for the title again, G. Never. After that stunt he pulled with Izzy. I like him, though. He lost three in a row, no? Three in a row, Yeah, but were they proper? Like, think about Costa. He could have easily won that. He could have went either way. Even Whitaker won. That was two fights. Come on, you saw those fights. They fought twice, right? Yeah. And one of them, I think he won. The other one, Whitaker won. That's my opinion. I don't know, man. With the one Romero. where Whitaker's getting he's, not he's, rocked and rocked. I wanted to see what, what he'd done against Costa against Izzy. I that wanted fight to... was beautiful though, wasn't it? Against Costa. Yeah, man. Beautiful. That's what everyone wants to see. Very bro. beautiful. That's what I expected Smashing. to see. Man came in. I saw he stood in the middle, middle yeah. of the octagon for 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, I felt really bad for Izzy that day. Why? Because you know, everyone was like, oh, saying like, oh, how can you be the champion and you're not even like fighting, attacking and stuff like that? But he's the champion. People who said that, yeah, they don't know how to fight. They don't know fighting G. Because it's he, so dumb. Romero, I mean, Izzy done what he had to do. If I was the champion, why am I gonna risk put myself at risk? That's what I'm saying. In the middle of the octagon, do you know what I mean? I'm gonna. I don't want to put on a show. I want to. I want to keep the title going home. No, but you see, the thing is though, stylistically, like that's Izzy's fight. And exactly. He's a counter attacker. If if, he, if he's not pushing to attack him, he isn't. He doesn't necessarily have to push forward. You pretty much. You pretty nah, much nah. won four rounds. I swear. But the thing you is, if you're saying that for Izzy, you could say that for Romero. Like he waits. He waits, but he's a bit patient sometimes. Like he always waits for the that's counter. Huh? He's, explosive. he's explosive. He's explosive, but he always waits. All of his knockouts, he was waiting for someone to come and then he would counter. He does move forward sometimes. Oh, bro, but you could be a, bro, you could be a counter fight. You, there's a difference between a counter fighter, counter puncher, yeah, and standing in the middle of the article for 30 seconds, bro, doing nothing. Doing nothing, just standing like this, doing this. Come on. Yeah. I, but think about it. He, what's, what's, he, what's he meant to do? Rush in, angle. Bro, Adesanya. yo, you, we, gee, we, so what? You are you are you trying to justify him standing in the thing? Standing in the middle of the ring. Bro, yeah. Look how like tall, look how tall yeah. Adesanya. Gee, leg kicks. It could be do leg kicks, body kicks. Could have done just, nothing. Look, look, look how far Adesanya is. His his Adesanya is so sick at maintaining distance, and he's bare long. He is long. Thing he can't get wrestle him. Romero can't get wrestle him. Fighting from the inside. I, I agree with that. Wrestle, 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 wrestle. But he hasn't used wrestling. I don't know why. Sorry, he doesn't use wrestling. I don't know why. That's what I'm saying. That's why everyone. He he's an Olympic wrestler. He hasn't got the gas tank to wrestle either, man. He can't do five rounds with Romero. I think the other mad thing was like Romero, he went with that fight and then afterwards in the interview, he's given like all of that nonsense about yeah, Romero. Oh, yeah, we'll so say like, is, is he scared? Da, 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 da. This is not how a champion fights, blah, blah, blah. He was like basically he done the, running he got away for the whole thing. Um, Paul Lacosta got brushed yeah, in that. Is he, is, he, is he robbed him out here? Yeah? I forgot what I was nah, going to say. But anyways, you come, you come back to it. Yeah. But like on, the, on sticking to Izzy, yeah, what do you think about his allegations? It's true. I think it's true. For, he's on PEDs because yeah. you can't get that. You can't get that mad titty from nowhere, G. Yeah, right. Because uh, uh, apparently you can uh, uh, when you get or you can get it during puberty or when you take PEDs because obviously your your hormone level. Sign about your hormone level. Jeez, man, did a research. You know what I'm saying. So come on, bro. Yeah. No. So no where that titty, that titty don't come out of nowhere, yeah. bro. What's his reaction to? What, what is it gonna be then? That's where his kickboxer record or something like. Eight, Eighty wins and like one loss, and then even his MMA. Basically, his overall MMA. It's 100 wins and like two yeah. losses. But it doesn't explain his tit though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I think he, he's that good. He is generational. Like, he, he doesn't need pads. But well, then how do you think it happened then? 
I don't, I don't know, man. You gotta ask me. But then again, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you sucked his tit too. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, no, did you see his interview against, um, not against, with um, Ariel Huani, G? He was talking about, yeah, like, if it was sore and tender and that, it's a bit mad, G. I can't lie. If it was just like an injury or something like that, like, I mean, if it's an injury, obviously it would be sore and that. But it's it's a bit nuts, fam. It yeah. is nuts. But then again, that titty don't come out of nowhere, fam. I can't lie. Facts. But <laughs> man just said, fact, that should, that should be a soundbite, you know. How do we, how do you just start talking about like titties? Like, <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> for, for us and PEDs. That's what crazy, man. PEDs, bro. Uh, <laughs> fresh, I said PEDs. He said PEDs, don't try it. But shut up, man. Bro, you, Still, why am I so much Steve? Steve? Man can't, why am I so much Steve? English and he's doing an English degree. I've done an English degree. You don't sound like you've done an English degree. This ain't making a cut. I'm, I'm doing the editing, this ain't making a cut. No, I'm joking. I say PEDs. Uh, what does it stand for? Performance enhancing uh, drugs. I say no. I was just testing you. Shut up, man. <laughs> you, can te- you can test these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Ultimate fried chicken. <laughs> I couldn't even hear it. Oh, listen, DSC. Listen. listen, yeah, but I want to see Easy on John Jones 2021, man. I don't think that's the plan, though, man. John no, Jones no, going up John Jones. Yeah, exactly. John's going up the heavyweight, going to go fight for the heavyweight belt. Is he's going to defend his belt? He has to defend his belt at least a couple more times. He has yeah, two yeah. title defenses. Khabib has what? Two as well. Khabib has three. 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 But that's the tied most in lightweight history. But then, exa- but then who, who else has he got to fight in lightweight history? G? In lightweight division, sorry. He, he he's br- the thing is, yeah, he, he, can't, can't, he, he can't go for the middleweight record for most title defenses. Anderson Silva Anderson had that. Anderson Silva's got like 13. Yeah. He's yeah, done, 12, done a madness, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's bare. Bare. Yeah, he's de- yeah, double. I yeah. think it's 13. I'm and not, he's going to come back to fight again, which obviously would count towards. But like, the point is, yeah, you, my, my theory on like, go with status in that division or like, reign what division, division is, in what division? Like any division, yeah. standard rule in it is just beat the, the up and comers, like the main fighters that everyone's hyped about. Like if people say, oh, he's wiped everyone in division, it has to be legitimate people. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like not obviously these bums that that's no one cares. He's about. unranked, yeah, yeah. Like you, you, you saying this about though? You saying this about? It's in like, lightweight, obviously there's no one. He beat Dustin Connor. Gaethje was at like, U. Yeah, everyone everyone was screaming. Everyone. Everyone was screaming about Gaethje, and look what happened. Not gonna lie though, there's one person we haven't talked about, isn't it? Like, yeah. Tony. What happened, bro? You okay? Wait, wait, wait. That, hold that on, fight on. is more cursed than this podcast, fam. Uh, <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Listen, this podcast is supposed, supposed to start a year ago, fam. We've had, we've had more. No, but they had, they've had more. Five years ago. Man. They've had, they've been through more, man. Huh? They've been through way more than we have. Yeah, it's true, still. You can't blame either fight, but it's just, it, it, it like, feels Tony's the one that tripped over a cable wire, and then yeah. Corona happened. Didn't it? it feels cursed, honestly. I blame Dana White for that fight not happening. But to be honest, fam, would. Did that, you see that Gaethje um, fight is so behind? Obviously, his hands are in it. Did you see Nick Diaz saying that he wanted? No, Nate Diaz saying he wanted to fight him. Yeah. They, like he was saying, "Oh, like talk what, about the jiu-jitsu or not?" You didn't, yeah, you didn't fight me if you had someone that could do. Nate jiu-jitsu. Diaz is robbed, man. But apparently, in 2014, he like refused the fight. Who? Dana. Who? With uh, with Khabib. 2014. Yeah, in 2014, Dana I said. I think he refused the fight. I'm not sure about that. Uh, Dana said that he uh, Nate Diaz refused the fight against Khabib. Yeah. Like Could he, be, he turned down the fight, basically. Could be, fam. G. I don't know, but I saw that too, though. Yeah. Do you think Tony Ferguson versus Khabib would be a hard fight? I just think because it's so cursed. Nah, and... I don't think it would be a hard fight. I mean, I'm going to be I'm... real. I don't think the fight would be competitive like the at way all. people think it would be. At all. I think, look at the way uh, Gave G dismantled Tony. Yeah. Not saying Khabib has a stand up. It wasn't yeah. even close. Like, not saying, not saying Khabib has a stand up, but then even Kevin Lee was taken down. Uh, Tony Ferguson, even Anthony Pettis was dropping Tony Ferguson. like. He is a good fighter, but yeah. he's not Khabib's level. Like, not yeah. even close to him. No, no yeah. way. No way. No way. The only way people think that it's such a rivalry is because yeah. they both had like a, what, a 12 fight win streak yeah, or something. Yeah, win streak. And yeah. then, like, they, win, they, they win in the parallel line in the same division and they didn't get to fight each other. But that yeah. doesn't mean that they're in the same level. Yeah. Like, if you look at the fighters that Tony's fought, yeah. his last big fight that he actually fought was RDA in like 2016. Yeah. In that time, he's fought like wash people, like Sorry Wash, bruh. He hasn't. He hasn't actually fought anyone that's high level. He hasn't. He fought Gavechi got got washed. He didn't fight Connor. He hasn't, hasn't fought Dustin. Yeah. He hasn't fought um, Khabib. He didn't fight Dan Hooker. Like that's funny. Though, actual, that's funny though, isn't it? Because there was a time obviously where Khabib didn't fight all these sick fighters like Dustin, Connor, and Gavechi. Oh, bro, G, yeah, look, at, look at look at last Khabib. Tony was saying that about look at yeah, Khabib's Khabib. last three fights. Yeah, that's what Khabib. I'm saying. And the like, thing about the thing you could even say like, Barboza Barboza onwards Johnson. Michael Johnson onwards Michael Johnson, that's, that's where he started getting at, popular at, at, and, and Michael time, Johnson beat Tony Ferguson and he knocked out Dustin as well that's February though but obviously yeah. even at that time Michael Johnson was he's he's actually still he's one of the best strikers yeah. in the division Yeah, even though he's the most inconsistent and 
got no chin at all right now. Yeah. He's still a hard matchup, and same as Barbosa as well. That guy's one of the best strikers yeah. in the division. No, did you see what Khabib done to Barbosa? I saw genuine fear in Barbosa's face. Yeah. He's up against that. His eyes going to pop out his skull, bro. That's mad, fam. Yeah. No, but I, I think Michael Johnson is... was worse because he was talking to him and saying, let me have oh, the dog. How come I say... Gee, mama's telling him, you have to quit. How come I... Gee, imagine... imagine. What, do you think, what do you think Michael Johnson was thinking in his head? He's like, bro, fuck <laughs> this. He's like, the ref needs to stop this now. He's going to break his arm as well. Michael Johnson's a G though, man. I saw you was playing. Nah, he's yeah, calm. He's... That, was a, that was a good fight store. But I don't think um, Khabib and Ferguson is going to be... It's a tough fight. I think Khabib runs through Ferguson. Ferg- I could run through Ferguson. I don't even care if it's competitive. Yeah, listen. I, I just, just wanted to see it. I, I just want to see it. See it I, can't like, I would take any Khabib. And fight. it's the fight that everyone's been yelling for years. It's for just, five years. Yeah. yeah. Five, five years. Finish the story just nicely, innit? And you know that Khabib's going to win that. So. I'd rather see him fight GSP than him fight Ferguson. Yeah, but. I mean, I'd say he's really the lightweight goal right now. Be, being Tony yeah. obviously would enhance that. But at the yeah. same time, GSP would make him go at go status. As yeah, it would make him legendary, innit? Legendary, yeah, not yeah. just GOAT, bro. The first fight, yeah, even though it was an early stoppage, it would have gone the same way. Because was not that great. <laughs> I heard the funniest thing, yeah. You know how he was, um, the ref stopped the last fight because they thought I could say Labour was rocked. Yeah, yeah. Someone said, oh no, he's playing possum for this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. That's true. So funny, man. Because Labour was good as well. But Uncle Live, he's fast and he's powerful, man. Yeah, he's that's one to watch out for. He's a problem in my life, but it's a problem. Yeah, that's going to spice oh, things up a bit. I no, need to watch it, man. I was training my guys to do some pad work and that. What are you doing pad work before the fight? Yeah. <laughs> See that sound effect? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. You see, that was yesterday. I can't lie, man. It was. A, I went home. I was. I can't lie, man. I felt kind of satisfied, but upset. Bro, I, I've yeah, been I, feeling I, sad. I was man. upset, man. Yeah, like, I, was, I was upset. I, I was like, happy for like... Yeah. Uh, like 10 seconds max yeah. Yeah. and then when I saw Khabib crying I, I became upset from him. Bro, when he started crying moment. when he started crying G, I was finished fam Gave my guy innit like, of all the fighters in UFC I'd say he's probably in my, in my top 3 like favourite fighters innit 100%. 100% he's so entertaining to watch so then seeing him get slept even like it should have just been a stoppage that like 3 seconds earlier innit yeah. then I would be more satisfied cause it's just a submission I, I, I didn't like I didn't, yeah I didn't like man see his hand just flop and uh, he just oh, yeah Khabib Khabib yeah man yeah. Khabib it's not Khabib, it's Habib. Listen. Habib. Habib. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm not Arab fan. Habib. Sorry, guys. Uh, we've got some troubles in a, with the studio studio stuff. The studio stuff? That's what you call your mom now? Yeah, studio stuff, fam. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, it was, it was very bittersweet, man. Did you not want to see a, a GSP fight? I did want to see a GSP fight, but when a man is saying, like, I don't want to fight with my dad there and my mom, I spoke to my mom, did you see the Russian translation? Of when it see was, when he spoke, do you see the translation? It was basically what he said to Gifty. And then he was like, oh was like no, nah, it's kinda of, it goes deeper, man. He was like, oh like um he's basically thanking everyone and then he was yeah. like, Oh I, um I like I only got one parent left now. I don't want to spend more time with time with that and time with that that parent. Yeah, he, you know he said that saying? to Gifty like when I like that little thing when he was giving advice to Gifty, he was like, yeah. Oh, you know, you have both your parents, spend now, some time with them. Now on the flip side, if that was if that was Tony Ferguson, he'd be like, Man, <laughs> man, fuck you, man. I know my parents, man. Like just, do you know what I'm saying? No, you'd be like, don't tell me how to be a son to my own parents because yeah, I'm exactly. shit and you guys are punk. You, yeah, that's the, he, that's what he is. He's a punk. <laughs> punk. You would have left the the ring time ago, man. The octagon. Yeah. Justin stayed. And imagine, that's probably because Trevor Woodman told him to stay. Innit? Imagine gave she, yeah, like, I, I'm pretty sure, we know when Khabib was crying on a mat. I was like, at this point, yeah, I'm thinking gave she's knocked out and sleeping. And I see him running up to Khabib, right? Like he just wakes up, runs to him. Imagine that, G. Imagine you getting yeah. slept and you run up and the, and you go hug the person. That's why you love him. You. That's why we gotta love Gage, bro, bro. You gotta love Gage. You. I think Gage's Gage is up. He took his back in it. He's about to put him in yeah, really yeah. Good yeah. It was sick as well because Gage, like the way he's just showing him love, like saying, "Oh, Gage's whole team." You know, sorry, sorry to go. Gage's whole team is sorry. Trevor Whitman is a bad boy. He won Coach of the Year last year, like. Yeah, bro. Or was it Eugene? I'd say, I'd say, actually, no, Eugene's probably the best right now. But I say Trevor Whitman's probably the best. Like top three, I think it's the smartest. He's so his fire IQ is insane. Did he see it? Did he hear his corner advice when he was yeah. fighting Ferguson? Tony, yeah. When he's like, take 20% like, of your fighters. Yeah. I mean, your punches. Your old fights, remember your old yeah. fights were and shit like that. Like, insane. Like, you're trying to kill the guy, innit? Like, just if you didn't say that, conscious. you know, gave you might have been wilding out, but it made him like, refocus on that. Yeah, and then after he said, take 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 the percentage of your fights, he was he was punching, his punches were more cleaner, they're more yeah. lean, he was hitting. But before before he said that, he was like, he was swinging like kind of wildly. Yeah. I'm saying in, insane. That is insane. Definitely top five coach. That, man. Imagine having an eye like that. I say top three. Top three is probably Javier yeah. Javier Mendes. Javier Mendes. Javier Mendes. Javier Mendes. Uh, Wouldn't you guys put? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, coach Kavanaugh. I would put him quite high, you know. 
Kavanaugh. I think he's smart as fuck, you know. He's he smart. Think and he's hella humble as well. Yeah, I don't Kavanaugh, think so. I like Kavanaugh. But I don't I think mean, so. Man. As a coach, I left. think like I feel like top you need to come up with more game plans. Top five, but probably fifth. But I don't even know if you could say fifth, it's just because Conor McGregor might just be like he's, he's just he a good fighter. Kind of he's just a good fighter. Yeah, yeah. Who else? Who else has came out of that camp? Don't say, say Dillian yeah, Dennis. Dillian, Dillian Dennis is the biggest Dillian. race man in the world. I hate him so much. I hate Dillian him. Dennis is good though. Oh, fuck that guy. He can he can be good, but I hate him. He's bad at the wrong times. Even Conor flipping congratulated Khabib, but Dillian Dennis being a dickhead. This one he has no fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's worse than Tony, bro. Yeah, uh, Tony even tweet about Khabib. Oh, but it's better than saying bullshit like Dan, Dan, Dan Everyone tweeted. Everyone tweeted. Yeah. Everyone tweeted. Yeah. When Connor said tweets, and you know, uh, you know, and uh, you know, Tony Ferguson watched this fight. That's, yeah. that's another thing. Do you know why? Do you know why he hasn't tweeted? Because he's still trying to figure out. Uh, uh, to, 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 he's still adding all the caps, the, the first letter capitals into his tweet. That's why he, on, he's still doing it for twenty four hours, huh? He's got his sunglasses and can't Dan get Hardy, past the, the face ID. Dan Hardy, the, the commentator. Yeah. Dan Hardy's sick, man. You were saying, um, you walk around with that fake belt and then and then Tony replied by saying, oh, I don't, I don't need a fake fight or something. He's told me how to do it and shit. Don't you think it's mad how like, I feel like after the Conor fight, Khabib went to like superstardom. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you went on Snapchat yesterday, yeah, random people that don't watch fighting at all I saw so in. many people post Khabib on thing. You, you know, know what I mean? Yeah, fam. But ask them to pronounce Khabib's surname. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's a bad thing. Wait, 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 wait. I, don't, I don't think it's a bad thing, innit? <laughs> it's not a bad thing because obviously I'm happy for him. Yeah, but like he's... He, <laughs> I, yeah, like, no, that is actually... Yeah, but, but he's, he's made it as like a superstar. Yeah, right? that's good though, man. But gee, apparently... Yeah. To, imagine Joe Rogan saying like, after the Conor fight, he's still, he's still driving the old Prius. Oh, did you, did you see... Um... um Khabib. No, it's a Toyota or a Prius. Oh, I'm bugging. That's that's, that's so that's dumb. That's isn't that Angola country? That's so right? dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's dumb. That's like an old Toyota. So I can't remember what you said. That's so that was so dumb. But uh, imagine that you're you're a multimillionaire and he's still riding. Did you see? Um, yeah, Joe Rogan said that. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's because Khabib gets love wherever he goes. Like, yeah, you know, he's getting pre- presidential like status in, in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, yeah. Even when he's yeah. In, back home, <coughs> bro, you know he has mob ties with like the killers there. And, President. Oh, Ben, Ben, he's been connected, you know. Like, they, they His whole camp. Like, whole camp. Whole camp. Like, that whole camp. You, know, you know that guy, yeah. like Ramzan Kadyrov. Kadyrov, yeah, yeah, with the Chechnyan. Yeah, yeah. 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 He gives him his S classes and Rosaris and all that. Because they had beat, was like, there was conflict between them two, like Chechnyan and Dagestan, like, yeah. isn't it? But they're obviously united. Hamza, Hamza is Chechnyan, isn't it? Yeah, Hamza yeah. is Chechnyan. But his camp is in Sweden, right? Like. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you have to move out, isn't it? Like, yeah, of course. Yeah, striking. Did you guys see, like, um, Zayn Malik tweeted Marshall on it and everyone yeah, was saying yeah, like, yeah, yeah. he turned Muslim <laughs> he turned him like Muslim <laughs> they were posting that, that video you know that guy he's like one day he's Muslim one day he's Christian where's your bible Have, basically there's, a, there's like I, a, I saw the tweet but I didn't say the video there's a snapchat of, of a guy on road in it and the guy's snapchat and saying yo this brother here is like a nitty in it he's like oh one day he's Muslim one day he's he's Christian in it and the next day he comes with a bible in it and then some some somebody done in the back going bro this is haram you can't do this <laughs> oh man I, that's why I respect Khabib's uh, like decision more in it because now he has the world at his feet. Yeah, do you know what I mean, he could do anything. Even GSP was saying like, I don't see him doing it. He can't. I don't think he's going into acting or anything like that. Yeah, he's no, not no. that kind of guy. Like he even said he wants he to go chill in the village. Like a political spokesman. He said he wants to go chill in the village, spend time with the family. But that's the thing. Be a normal yeah. guy. We're not. We're never going to see Khabib again, fam. <laughs> I'm trying to say something, isn't it? <laughs> don't hold my hands up, please. Oh, sorry, man. We're not going to see Khabib again, fam. Never gonna see anyone like him. He Even during his fights, G, yeah. I think it's a slim, like slim, slim, slim chance that he does fight GSP only because if the reason why it didn't happen in UFC is because GSP came back to middleweight, won the title, and retired, Retired. and and he fucked up the division or he put it on hold, didn't it? It, There's no way like Dana would have given him. He doesn't even like GSP anyway, Dana Mm. and GSP. But if GSP was to come back, give him a lightweight shot, imagine he beat could be beat his goal and then retired again. I think yeah, yeah, I think I think it should ju- it should just be a thing, G. Like a like it's just a super fight, no title, yeah, like, no title. But that's but that's a dickhead thing. How are they how are they how are they doing a fucking a BMF title for uh, Jorge and Masvidal? That's yeah. the, I mean, Masvidal, Jorge and Masvidal. I'm bugging, I'm bugging. Jorge Masvidal and um, I'm, I'm, I'm I said Toyo and Prius, <laughs> and Nate Diaz, yeah, go on. And Nate Diaz, that's a dickhead thing, man. That's actually a dickhead. Thing. I don't I don't think Khabib is like a exhibition guy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's like a fire. Sign on the line. Unless, I unless he's a fire for something. But then he can fight for legacy. Fair, you know, and GSP. Mm. His dad wanted GSP as well. I think he wanted Fair, you know, and wanted GSP. But I think. But he's, again, he's too strong to his but word. But again, like, he. he he's, he's like, he's like. like oh, he's strong to know. his word, isn't it? But that's his dad's like, dying wish. Like, Fair, you know, and GSP. And they both 
coincide together. Exactly. So. They're both on it as well. Yeah. GSP is on it and he's still training. Have you seen, have you got GSP on Insta? He's yeah, trained. Yeah. But at the same time, GSP's he's... fought once in like six years. Yeah. Like, yeah, what's... But he still demolished Michael Bisping, isn't it? Yeah, well, that was, he wasn't actually retired then. Is it Michael Bisping yeah, like half yeah, blind? Yeah, he needs a break. Fun. But Michael I think, Bisping has one out. Because of what's his name? Steroid guy. What's his name? He almost had zero. You know, I mean, this is podcast. It's crazy. Man. It's a story. I'm not saying he needs to chat to him. Bring him on the phone. <laughs> I'm just being come time talk, man. But yeah, I think that I think that wraps up the Kabi fam. We all, we all agree that this was a is a very big day in it's a crazy combat, mo- combat crazy sports. crazy moment. I think it's like one of those times where you remember like where you were, like yeah. Do you know like what I'm saying? Tyson, Muhammad Ali, like when they retired, like do you remember that? Oh, hey, Tyson's fighting yeah, next month. Right, yeah, very. Yeah. Is he fighting? Uh, Roy Jones Jr. Apparently he's gonna fight KSI or some shit, bro. No, no, that's Floyd Mayweather. Oh, sorry. Floyd, no, Floyd, yeah, Floyd Mayweather Floyd wanted to fight Logan Paul. Yeah. Yeah. If he, so what, what's what's next for the lightweight division? That obviously Dustin, Dustin, I mean Dustin <laughs> Connor, <laughs> Dustin <laughs> Connor and Gaethje, man. There's a there's a new challenge in it. What's his name again? Michael, Michael Chandler. Chandler. <laughs> and he's Chandler. Safe, man. Yeah. I swear he lost. I swear he lost um, his fights because it was like a another, another organization or something. Bellator. Yeah. He won his last one. Though. Is it? Yeah, he, he got he got was it TKO'd by was that the guy who like was on commentary for a bit? Yeah. Like he, he came for backup, or like? Yeah. I hope he doesn't get Ben Askren though. What? No, no, better than that. <laughs> nah, he is. He's, he's top, yeah, but lightweight Michael, is isn't it? Like, Michael Chandler, I swear that's the guy from Friends, fam. Okay, yeah, and on that note, we're wrapping up. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>